morning everyone. Today I want to share with you something unusual. It is uh, 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday and I am headed to West London to pick up a private collection of bonsai trees. Just unusual and I have done this a uh, number of times before. But I thought I'd share it with you. <laughs> It's taken an hour and 40 minutes to get here. I have arrived and these are the uh, trees that uh, I have uh, just purchased or in the process of purchasing. Uh, not this one. Uh, this is a um, cascade and uh, so this one is excluded. Uh, but this one is included. So is this ivy. I think it's quite cute, this ivy. Not sure if you can see it very well. Uh, there is this juniper on a little slab and uh, again uh, it looks like a pika um, in a very shallow pot this looks like another pika and on a sort of virtually slab or flat sort of uh, pot and this one is a tanuki um, again the tree is uh, pika, looks like pika, and next to it is uh, a ginkgo tree, uh, has nice movement. Next is a group of four dawn redwoods. Next to the dawn redwood is a cypress, uh, there we are, and then we have a couple of uh, uh, that looks like a maple and another maple and another dawn redwood and these are two little ginkgo trees in very shallow pots last one is quite a chunky trunk slanting style dawn redwood I have just collected the trees and this group of dawn redwood was too tall to go in the back so it's gone on the floor uh, in the front. This is the boot of the car and uh, you can see it's very very busy. I've loaded all the trees up and this is the view from the rear of the car and uh, all the trees are loaded up and I should be heading back now and uh, this is the as close as I can get there's the ginkgo I'll zoom in on the ginkgo there's one of these smaller ginkgos in a very flat pot very cute I've just got back and uh, I've unloaded the trees and uh, uh, this is a maple needs a bit of work uh, and uh, needs a prune but I will prune it before I put it away. That's the second of the maples. And this one is a Pika Tanuki style. That's the top of the tree and uh, that's the dead bird. And that's the slab on which it is resting. This is another Pika on a slab. And there are three trees in this uh, of group needs a bit of a sort out there's a lot of dead needles in the of uh, moss and also these are all too thick the branches need to be thinned out a bit but that's for another day this is another group of two pika trees in uh, a shallow pot get a quick turn again needs work so this is usually what happens when uh, collections are acquired. They're usually neglected and need work. Juniper of sort in a shallow pot. This guy has uh, majority of the trees in shallow pots. A juniper. Give it a quick turn. And there we are. That's the start. We have another juniper on a slab and uh, this also needs a good sort out. 
but there I've given it a quick turn so at least you can see what that looks like. Right, next up is a mugo pine. Um, nice tree, wrong pot. So give it uh, another turn and that's where we are. That's where we started, I think. This is uh, another mugo pine and uh, we'll give it a quick turn and uh, that's where we started. Cypress juniper, give it a quick turn. And that's where we started. So, and this here is a ginkgo tree. And I'll give it a quick turn. And that's where we started. It's a nice tree, but uh, wrong pot. There's always something that needs sorting. But these two tiny little ginkgo trees in pretty stoneware pots and I suspect these are cuttings which have been propagated. Next up is this wine and uh, I'll give it a turn. Fair amount of work has gone in to create um, what it is and I can see how the wine has been molded into the shape that we're looking at. I've cleaned it up, it was a bit rough. Um, I had given it a quick prune, it was fairly straightforward. And that's where we started. So we'll get the next tree. Next we have uh, a Dawn Redwood. I'll give it a quick turn. Uh, it's uh, too heavy at the top. The branch structure hasn't been sorted. There's too many branches and it will need a good sort out thinning out the branches and of course wrong pot. Next up we've got this uh, fairly substantial uh, dawn redwood and it is slanting style. The trunk is quite thick as you can see my hand is behind it and I'll give it a quick turn. Again at the top uh, is basically a bush. Uh, by putting a tree in a pot it doesn't become a bonsai. Uh, there's a lot more to it after the tree has been put in the pot. Next up is this uh, group planting of four trees. Uh, these are dawn redwoods. And I'll give it a quick turn. And uh, I think it's not bad. Uh, again, the branches need a little bit of a sort out. But apart from that, uh, oh yes, and also it's uh, getting a little bit too tall. So it, it may need uh, chopping at the top to reduce the height. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button and then hit the bell to receive notifications of future uploads. And now for the afterthought. How does a penguin build a house? It glues it together. You dig? And now for the afterthought. Let the plane go. No, the plane is not the afterthought.